The old Victorian house stood tall and imposing at the end of the quiet street. Its weathered facade and overgrown garden gave it an eerie, abandoned look. Inside, an air of mystery lingered, drawing the attention of locals who whispered tales of supernatural happenings surrounding the house. This was the home of Amelia Bennett, a reclusive artist known for her enigmatic paintings. Amelia, a young woman in her late twenties, had always been fascinated by the occult. She delved into the realm of the supernatural, seeking inspiration for her artwork. Her curiosity led her to explore ancient rituals and forgotten lore. One fateful night, she stumbled upon a hidden passage in her house, concealed behind a bookshelf. As Amelia cautiously ventured into the hidden passage, a chilling breeze brushed against her skin. The air grew heavy with an otherworldly presence, making her heart race with trepidation. Her flashlight cast eerie shadows on the stone walls as she descended further into the depths of the house. In the dim light, she discovered an ancient artifact, an intricately designed silver amulet. Its surface was etched with strange symbols, radiating a malevolent energy. Intrigued yet unnerved, Amelia decided to keep the amulet and continued her exploration. Days turned into nights and the presence in the house grew stronger. Amelia's sleep became plagued with haunting visions. She saw glimpses of a dark figure lurking in the shadows, its eyes gleaming with a sinister glow. Each night the figure drew closer, its whispers echoing in her mind. Haunted by these visions, Amelia's sanity began to crumble. She isolated herself from the outside world consumed by the malevolent force that had taken hold of her house. She could no longer distinguish between reality and the twisted realm that the amulet had awakened. As the house's grip on Amelia tightened, a mysterious stranger arrived in town. His name was Samuel Morgan, an enigmatic scholar well-versed in occult knowledge. Samuel had heard rumors of Amelia's predicament and felt compelled to investigate. Armed with ancient texts and protective charms, Samuel ventured into the haunted house. He sensed the malevolence that permeated every corner, realizing the depth of Amelia's plight. Determined to free her from the clutches of the supernatural, he embarked on a perilous journey. Amelia's tenuous grip on reality grew weaker as Samuel delved deeper into the house's dark history. He discovered that the amulet Amelia had found was a vessel for a powerful jinn, a spirit of ancient Arabian folklore. The jinn, fueled by malevolence, sought to consume Amelia's soul and unleash chaos upon the world. Samuel and Amelia fought side by side, their bond growing stronger as they confronted the malevolent jinn. Their battle took them through labyrinthine corridors, where the house itself seemed alive, shifting and distorting reality. Every step was a struggle against the unseen forces that sought to tear them apart. As Samuel and Amelia reached the heart of the house, they confronted the jinn in a climactic showdown. The ethereal entity towered before them, its form a swirling mass of darkness and malice. It unleashed a barrage of supernatural powers, testing the resolve of the courageous duo. With every ounce of their strength, Samuel and Amelia fought back. They called upon ancient incantations, channeling their collective will to banish the jinn back to the depths from whence it came. The battle raged on, shaking the very foundations of the house. In the midst of the chaos, Samuel realized the only way to defeat the jinn was through self-sacrifice. He made the ultimate decision, willing to give up his life to save Amelia and the world from the malevolent spirit's wrath. With a final act of bravery, Samuel unleashed a spell that bound the jinn, sealing it away forever. As the battle came to an end, the house fell silent. The malevolent presence that had haunted Amelia was finally gone. She stood amidst the wreckage, her body bruised and weary, but a glimmer of hope flickered in her eyes. Amelia knew she owed her life to Samuel, the brave scholar who had come to her aid. 
she vowed to honor his memory and carry on his legacy. She would use her artistic talents to shed light on the supernatural, bringing awareness to the hidden dangers lurking in the darkness. With the house now cleansed of its evil, Amelia embarked on a journey of healing and self-discovery. She sought solace in her artwork, capturing the horrors she had faced and transforming them into hauntingly beautiful masterpieces. Her paintings became a testament to her strength and resilience. Word of Amelia's story spread far and wide, captivating the hearts of those who heard it. She became a beacon of hope for those touched by the supernatural, offering guidance and support. Her once empty house became a sanctuary where people sought refuge from the terrors that plagued their lives. Years passed and Amelia's legend grew. Her paintings became sought after relics celebrated for their ability to capture the essence of the supernatural. She continued to explore the boundaries of the occult always mindful of the dangers that lurked in the shadows. Samuel Morgan's sacrifice had not been in vain. His memory lived on, inspiring a new generation of occult scholars and adventurers. Together, they formed an organization dedicated to protecting the world from the malevolent forces that threatened to spill into our reality. And so, the tale of Amelia Bennett and the haunted house entered the annals of supernatural history. A reminder that even in the darkest of nights, there is always hope and the strength to face our fears head. Amelia stood in front of her easel, brushes poised over a blank canvas. Her studio was adorned with her eerie paintings, each one capturing a fragment of the supernatural world she had encountered. But something felt amiss. Whispers of forgotten incantations echoed through the air and the room grew colder. Unbeknownst to Amelia, remnants of the malevolent Jin's power still lingered within the house. Its influence seeped into the very walls, waiting for an opportunity to manifest once again. As she dipped her brush into paint, a shiver ran down her spine, as if unseen eyes were watching her every move. One moonlit night, as Amelia worked late into the hours, a familiar chill swept through the studio. The paintings on the walls seemed to come alive, their twisted figures writhing with newfound vitality. The amulet, once thought to be banished, reappeared, pulsating with an ominous glow. Fear gripped Amelia's heart as she realized the malevolent Jin had returned, seeking revenge for its previous defeat. The walls warped and twisted, trapping her within the confines of her own studio. The air grew suffocating and whispers filled her ears, promising unimaginable horrors. Amelia fought against the encroaching darkness, desperately seeking a way to escape her own artwork. She traced her fingers over the amulet, hoping to tap into its latent power. But the artifact remained dormant, a mere trinket without Samuel's guidance. In a moment of desperation, Amelia's gaze fell upon a painting, a depiction of the final battle with the djinn. The image seemed to ripple, beckoning her to step inside. With a leap of faith, she plunged into the canvas, entering a nightmarish realm where the lines between reality and the supernatural blurred. Within the painted world, Amelia confronted the djinn once again. It taunted her with its monstrous form, relishing in her fear and vulnerability. But Amelia had grown stronger since their last encounter. She drew upon the lessons learned from Samuel and her own resilience, refusing to be swallowed by the darkness. Harnessing her artistic prowess, Amelia conjured a swirl of vibrant colors, each stroke embodying her determination and will to survive. The hues clashed with the Jin's malevolence, dispelling its power bit by bit. The battle raged, a clash between light and shadow, paint and darkness. As the battle reached its climax, Amelia's brushstrokes grew fiercer, the lines between her painting and reality blurring further. With one final stroke, she unleashed a torrent of vivid energy, obliterating the malevolent djinn and shattering the malevolent djinn and shattering the confines of the painted world. Amelia emerged from the canvas, gasping for breath as the studio regained its normal appearance. 
the house was still, the lingering presence of the djinn finally vanquished. But Amelia knew that the supernatural would always hold a place in her life, a reminder of the strength she had found within herself. With the malevolent force banished once again, Amelia emerged from the ordeal stronger than ever. She realized that her connection to the supernatural was not a curse, but a gift. Armed with her experiences and newfound understanding, she vowed to protect others from the horrors that lurked in the shadows. Amelia dedicated herself to honing her artistic abilities, infusing her paintings with both beauty and warnings of the supernatural. Her works became beacons, guiding those who were lost in the darkness and offering solace to the haunted. As the years passed, Amelia's reputation as a defender against the supernatural grew. Her house, once known for its malevolence, transformed into a sanctuary, a gathering place for those seeking answers and protection. And though the djinn's presence would forever be etched in her memory, Amelia faced each new day with unwavering courage and an indomitable spirit.